So I'm just gonna leave a quick, try to simplify this, just so people can understand what's happening. Like, my land partner that tricked me into paying way too much, that sold me the illusion, uh, like I thought I was gonna be able to play my music that I wrote, you know, 20 years ago, and finally be able to be like, small time famous without selling out to the industry, and so, I fell for this illusion and bought into this, I was the fence between these two old land partners that were having a dispute already. And on the one side, I've got, you know, just, he harbors everyone that I've had to evict because of problems and everyone that hates me because of the slander and shit from the, the dance guy over there. So the dance guy has caused the whole community to hate me and then all the haters that have accumulated, the other guy, has harbored and kept there. So I've got like a whole village of haters living on my land. Um, so it's like the hate was caused by Mr. Haiti Pants and then this other guy that's like a tyrant that just harbors people that are below him that will kiss his ass even though they're thieves and whatever. Um, they don't, you know, it's like he's got a whole team of bandits is the way he looks at it. Um, but he's threatened me, if I ever go to court against Mr. Grumpy Pants over here, he's threatened to have me puka And then he's got this, the first guy that was helping me on my land, Fuzzy, um, I evicted him because he was just not doing anything. You know, uh, he's supposed to be here for work trade and he was ahead for the first month or two and then just, you know what I mean? Overstayed his welcome and then wouldn't leave after I was evicting him and I finally had to get like really mean to him and hurt his feelings to get him gone and threaten the police and all that stuff. So he's spent six years slandering me, trying to ruin my reputation as well. Um, and so he's taken, you know, the demons lies and ran with them. So I've got, you know, like a lot of propane heads out there just lighting people on fire about me uh you know hate about me and i've just ignored it like oh nobody's gonna believe fuzzy he's obviously just a super drainbow you know but it's i should have done something about it and stood up for my name um because it's just gotten out of control so anyway that's where i'm at with it um people don't realize that Fuzzy keeps stirring up Uncle and turning everyone, you know, pro lighting everyone up uh, with hate against me. So he gets the whole village riled up. And then all of these people are doing stuff to me that are all going to be these things that, like, really are the cause of Uncle Wit losing his land. Like, I'm definitely going to sue Simon for everything he's got for all he's done to me and everyone's going to be very happy for me when I win because they know he deserves it but then what's happened as a chain reaction and as a result is Uncle Wit he keeps telling me that he supports me against the demon but then abandons me that's what happened the, the you know the night I got beat up at dance and I was supposed to you know like the, the first Thursday I was trying to bring back to the community after Simon ultimatum to gone no more thursdays unless the community does something about ponder like he gave the, the community an ultimatum to bring violence on me and so and wit was going to stand up for me and then he was nowhere to be seen that night and i got beat up and i was isolated on my on my own and then of course fuzzy sent the cops on a wild goose chase and told them i was high and delusional and caused that problem and they didn't treat me like I, they should have i was the one who called for help and they treated me like i was the problem that night because of fuzzy so Fuzzy has to go. I evicted him. I'm going to have to take the legal steps to get him evicted from the land. And sue him for all the damages and all the construction he did wrong. And I'm just going to have to sue Fuzzy for like 20, 30 grand, actually. So, that's happening. And then, you know, Uncle Wit. Hopefully I can do this in time for Uncle to see what happens. Because, dude, Uncle has threatened me. I have him, it's posted on my Facebook, threatening to throw a rock at my head, throwing, threatening to have me puka before we ever make it to court. But Fuzzy has stirred him up now to where they tried to serve me yesterday. A restraining order from Uncle Wit, which I've shown you, the only thing I have to do is file a reverse and then I'm able to submit all the evidence. And all the evidence I have 
shows just complete terrorism from Uncle Wit's tenants, theft from Uncle Wit's tenants, and Uncle Wit threatening to have me fucking buried before we ever make it to court. That's like mafia type shit, dude. Uncle Wit is going to go down as like a mob boss because of Fuzzy stirring everyone up into taking action against me. I have not brought anything to Uncle Wits. I've tried to be his friend and forgiving as fuck the whole time. But Fuzzy is going to make him lose his land. Fuzzy is going to cause Uncle to have an entire collapse of his world. Because he just lets this little troll whisper in his ear. Gets him all worked up. Because Uncle's a, a hearsay reactor. And Fuzzy's a never-ending propane head. There is no end to the gaslighting he will do. He is a problem causer. 